Hello, my name is Tridar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a French Chateau in Minecraft. Let's get started. Yes, today we are beginning the much anticipated French Chateau tutorial. And for those of you that don't know, this is actually a real Chateau, Chateau de Chaumont in France. And this is going to be my reconstructed version of it. The, the current Chateau is pretty much a burned out ruin, actually. Mine is currently being reconstructed by one man. It is a bit of a quirky old building. I thought it was interesting. I wanted to do a French Chateau for a long time. I really couldn't decide exactly which one to do. Until I came across this one here. It's got all the details we would want in a Chateau. The nice formal gardens, the mansard roof, and all of the various details. I think the design is from the early 1900s. So it's going to have some some modern features in it. It does have a bit of a, a ironwork inside the building. It's not all masonry, so it's going to be a little bit different from previous things that I've done. And as we'll see later in the tour, the rooms are all exquisitely appointed, just as you would expect in fancy French Chateau. Uh, so that's the exterior tour. Uh, the gardens are pretty much what you would expect. We'll take a look at those later when we do the tutorial, uh, which uh, there's actually quite a lot to see inside the chateau. We've got seven distinct levels, so uh, let's get started with those. I think today we're going to have time pretty much for just a tour, and next time we're going to start in on the tutorial proper. All right, so with that said, let's actually go right in the front door, which is going to be that door over there. There is a double door, actually, that goes into the main entrance hall right over there. So the building does have quite a lot of symmetry to it. You will notice there, there are some uh, examples where there are a bit of asymmetry, like these windows down here. They're, they're, they're not mirrored over there, and there are some, some minor quirks. It's mostly like 90% symmetrical, though, which, you know, if you're a fan of my Roman builds... Uh, Definitely like to have that whenever we can get it. So let's go up the stairs. We've got a nice little landing here. A little Porsche area looking back across our, our fountain, the courtyard, and the formal gardens there. Very nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and go inside, though. Without further ado, we go into a very nicely appointed uh, main entrance hallway. Uh, sort of a foyer type area. I'm not sure what the French word, actually. I should have looked up all the French vocabulary words for the Chateau. I only know a couple. Uh, we do have a very a nice tiled floor in here. One of my favorite designs of terracotta to use in Minecraft. I mean, we've only got a few patterns that look pretty decent. I have actually managed to use just about all of the glazed terracottas inside the Chateau. Except, you know, except for the, 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 the purple arrow one. There, there, there's, there's, there's no use for that. Uh, unless you're making, like, you know, a sign or something. It says, go this way. Uh, but if we look up here, we do notice we have two columns. Holding up the entire thing right here. Uh, solid calcite. Uh, and for bases down here, we don't have enough for the standard uh, type of column that I would generally use. It's, the room's a little bit too short for that. Uh, so this is more of a, a Tuscan style uh, order column. N not, not quite Doric, a little bit more simplified than that. It's a bit, it's a bit Tuscan. So uh, down here we've got um, uh, just some iron trap doors. Down there to form the column base, which, you know, Minecraft, this is, this is as good as we can get. It, it matches the, uh, the quartz detailing and the rest of it pretty much. I've echoed the, the trap doors on the top there because as I said we do have a lot of ironwork in the building so those designs are going to be uh, echoed up there and the, uh, the, the the plaster work here is all done with uh, quartz stairs and, and everything like that. We do have a nice winding staircase that we're going to be slowly making our way up. Uh, this staircase is one of the more difficult things to build in the chateau figuring out exactly how that was going to work. It's got uh, it's got split landings. You go up like half the stairs, you land, and then you turn around and go uh, up the other half to get to the next level. And as I said, um, the, the entrance doors are mirrored on, on both sides. Interesting detail that way. Uh, so we will slowly make our way into all the surrounding rooms here, here in a moment. Along the walls, I have added some little alcoves. If you want to place down some things inside your inside your chateau, so some little mementos of your Minecraft world, you can do that. 
Uh, now, as we go, there, there are a number of changes I have made in the design that, that aren't actually in, in the real Chateau, at least not currently, uh, because, as I said, it is a bit of a ruin, and I don't know exactly how it's going to be reconstructed, so I have had to make some guesses. Um, and one of the things I don't know is how the, there, there's, there's a lower level below us down there, sort of like a service level, where you would have all of the, 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 the kitchens, the laundry, the storage, the, 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 the mechanical stuff, all, all down there. Um, and, uh, the, the stairs for that used to be over there in that room. Uh, I don't know where they're going to be in the reconstruction. So I have actually, uh, uh, cut a hole through the floor right here underneath the main stairs, and put the stairs just right below this one. It seemed to make the most sense. I mean, you want to have all your stairs in one location down here. So I have, uh, that's the only major alteration I've made down there. Otherwise, it's pretty, pretty faithful, as far as I can tell. I mean, I don't really have any plans for this. I've just had to base what I've seen off of the video. So things may be a little bit, a little bit off. No, but I have done my level best to make sure they are accurate. So, uh, anyway, this is the entrance foyer. So now we want to go here into, well, no, let's actually go uh, straight back into, I think, what is going to be the salon. Back here, we do have some, some nice uh, chandeliers in here hanging down from the coffered beam ceiling and everything. We have a nice uh, uh, waxed cut copper up there with the lapis floors and the blue tile floors in here. Very much a blue themed room. Uh, through the chateau, we are going to have a number of fireplaces. In here, I've tried to make them all slightly different from each other, except for the uppermost levels where they're, where they're all the same. Uh, and back here, if we want to exit for a moment, we can actually go on to the back porch right back here. And you will notice as we go through the chateau, there are quite a lot of uh, little porches like this that we can uh, go out to observe, you know, our formal gardens back here and the landscape around us. There's going to be another one above that, another one above that, another one above that, and so on and so forth. Whoever, um, wh whoever designed this house really liked to have uh, uh, balconies just, just everywhere in the chateau. Like I said, it's a bit of a quirky building. There's one of the reasons that uh, I found a little bit interesting to do the design for. Uh, one of the other changes I've made is that this little uh, room here uh, I've added, uh, we're get, well, this is going to be the bathroom. You know, just a, well, you, you, uh, you want to have a bathroom on the first floor, obviously. You don't have to go up the stairs all the time, so I've added that there. Uh, the, the stairs I've added below uh, there to get down to the, sec uh, the, the, uh, the ground level, uh, th they were actually here in the original design, but you know, we were making a small change with that there. Uh, and let's go into uh, this room here, which uh, I suppose you can call this, I don't know, the, 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 the library or something. The, um, um, I don't know the French word for that. Uh, bi bibliotech? Uh, I don't know. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, but anyway. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, uh, the, the stairs actually sank down here to go down into the kitchen below us. Uh, but I decided to, to wall that off a little bit and make a bathroom, just because it has a strange little window over there, and I thought that, uh, that would just work best if that were its own little room. That's like so. Of course, we have a nice little comfy fireplace right here. And, uh, of course, I'm presenting this as undecorated. Well, I mean, the, all of the rooms are finished in their decoration, but the, 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 there's no furniture. So you're going to have to build uh, that yourself. Uh, because, you know, there is some assembly required. I think it's fun if you if uh, I give you the design for the house, but, but you could you get to decide what every room does. That, that way you're not locked in to the room design, so you, so you can customize them for whatever you want. Uh, we do have up here an uh, expensive chandelier. Um, a, a, a very expensive chandelier. It's a nice one, though. Uh, over here, we do have a couple of carved columns, some arches, and another very expensive chandelier over here for, like, a little, um, just a little reading nook or something that you want to have over here.
Nice coffered beam ceiling and everything. So this room is obviously themed a very red color. You know, we got the Crimson High Fae and, and the, 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 the black terracotta. Uh, but it's actually, uh, it, it's a good red. It's a good match. These two blocks go very well together with the dark woods and everything. Uh, so we've been through that room. We've been through the salon. So now let's walk back through our entrance foyer. Not ready to go up the stairs just yet. Uh, there's another door into the salon over here, by the way. Uh, but over here, if we want to go through this door, we can go into what I'm I'm assuming is going to end up being the formal dining room. That's why we have the uh, the, the the glass and and bright uh, chandeliers hanging down in here. You can you know you can kind of hear them clinking a bit. I mean, I don't have any sound effects for that, but you know you just have to imagine. We do have a very large fireplace. In here for that, I think as far as I can tell, this is going to be the biggest fireplace in the, in the chateau. At least it's, it's the biggest um, uh, spot for one, anyway. And here, we of course, we had... Uh, this is the uh, obviously green. With the floor and the, the prismarine on the walls and the ceilings and everything. I've tried to make every room uh, similar to each other but also different in its uh, in its detailing we do have a number of built-in bookcases back here arched on top if you want to have you know just some some little mementos or whatever you can store your food there if you want to since this is the dining room and as i said there are a number of exits so if after dinner you want to walk out onto the balcony and enjoy the view of your formal gardens and whatever is going to be over there in your world you can do so. A porch here, and of course a number of potted ferns and everything, as you would expect to have. Uh, and there is another exit over here for that room, back into the salon. Alright, so uh, that took a while, but uh, that's everything on the first floor. Uh, like I said, the, the, this entire first part is going to be the tour, because as I said, we, we have a lot to take a look at. Uh, and uh, let's get on with it. Uh, so, as I said, I did make a change for the access for the, uh, the ground level uh, down here. So, let's go down here and take a look at what we've got. So, if we go down these stairs, we hit uh, what is a um, sort of like a transverse uh, passageway that go, runs pretty much the length of the chateau, just about. Uh, and uh, all the expensive materials were used on that floor because, you know, it's the main fancy rooms. But down here we have the more working areas of the chateau. So they are more, you know, simply appointed with, with, with tough and a bit of woodwork. Like so. And if we go over here, we come into the kitchen. It's going to be down here. Very nice, simple black and white uh, tiled pattern for the kitchen. I think uh, the original stairs that would go down into the kitchen would have come down over here. Uh, that, that seems to be a bit of an awkward design. I'm not really sure why they put that there instead of just putting it under the main staircase. Uh, but you know, that is what they did. Uh, so over here we do have, of course, an, uh, an exit slash entrance down into that from the formal gardens area down here. Uh, there, there are quite a few, actually, ways in and out of this building. Like, like I said, it's, it's, it's a bit of a quirky old building. Uh, so if we go down our hallway here, and over here on our left, that's our stairs we came down. Across from that, we have uh, what I think would be probably the main storage room of the chateau, if I had to guess. Uh, it's a little bit big for a wine cellar, but, you know, it's... I mean, well, well I'm, it is a French chateau. You, you might actually want this much wine. I mean, you know. Uh, we do have uh, uh, two uh, low arches here and a column for support uh, in the middle of the room. A and over here, for some reason, we do have uh, a barred window over here where you would expect to maybe have a door. But over here, we do have a door which goes into, like, a little vestibule underneath here there's that window we looked out of uh, which leads out 
into the area which is directly underneath the uh, the dining room. No. The, 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 sorry. It's directly underneath the foyer. Right there. Underneath that porch here, we've got two arch entranceways. Back down here, you can, uh, by the way, the, the entire ground level, it, it, it's sunk one block down, actually. Below here. Uh, and we do have a number of exits off from that. We do have two doors that uh, go into the storage room right here. We do have another one over there we'll take a look at later. So we make our way down the hallway. Uh, so over here to our left, just, uh, just across from our stairs, we have, um, uh, if we go just straight, we do have a little, uh, another um, little vestibule down here underneath the main entranceway. Remember, this is our main fountain main entrance and we do have just a little archway that goes right in to the underground area here there are also two other ways right here from the pathways that I put in for the formal gardens around the chateau uh, and like I said um, the, the main change I made down here is to add another uh, wall here and sink the stairs just just right down below the main staircase Otherwise, this would be an open entranceway. Uh, I have had to relocate this door here. It used to be uh, symmetrical, like this door here, but I just moved it down a little bit. And uh, these rooms here are, I think, what are the, uh, the, 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 uh, the mechanical rooms for the chateau, where you would expect to have your, uh, your, your, your uh, hot water, you know, your, your air conditioning, all that, uh, your electrical boxes, all that sort of stuff. I would expect to be in these rooms right here. I'm not sure what you're going to use them for eventually. Uh, fun fact, uh, these are jutting out just a block here in the, in the corner awkwardly because this is right below the uh, two calcite uh, Tuscan pillars we looked at. Those sink straight into the ground on big chunky foundations. Just right there on either side. They go into those rooms. They're, uh, I think they're they're... They're just right there on top of that. So if we make our way down a bit farther, we come to two doors here to our right and to our left. Let's let's go right first. We come into a little room here, which is probably, um, I don't know, it's probably the laundry room, I think, where you wash your clothes and, and all that stuff. Here's this other door I talked about earlier, going back into the storage room. Lots of access underneath here, that's for sure. Lot, lots of doors. This is particularly troublesome to figure out the exact arrangement of the rooms down here. I may have gotten it slightly wrong, though. Uh, we do have another little room like that over here. And, of course, uh, both of these have doors into yet another little vestibule down here. This goes to the main hallway, and this goes back into that first little washroom. And here we have two arch entranceways over here. Uh, and all of that is what's below the, uh, the dining room down here. So yes, lo lots of ways in and out of the chateau. Uh, lot, lots of balconies, lo lots of little nooks and crannies and interesting little rooms. This is, you know, like I said, this is why I decided to use this building as a template for uh, uh, the ch uh, my chateau. And oh, I think I'm, I think I'm missing a trap door there. That's definitely missing. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that later in the tutorial. Uh, so, we have taken a look at everything on the main floor. We've taken a look at everything below us down there. So now it's time to ascend the winding staircase. And uh, I, I quite like how this little staircase came out with the, with the wood and the trapdoors and everything. Uh, so if we go up a uh, half, half a flight of stairs, you can see we've got uh, quite a few yet to go. We do have the first of, you know, like I said, that there's many little balconies and landings in the chateau. And right there, I've got this little arched uh, the window thing. Right there for that landing, we're going to have another one above that, another one above that, uh, and uh, some out to the side of, uh, of that there. Uh, so, let's land, go back inside. 
and continue to ascend up our stairs. This brings us to a little archway here. Uh, and we will continue ascending the stairs later. Now we are on the second floor. And I think these are going to be probably where uh, the bedrooms, I would imagine, are. We're going to have the guest bedrooms up there as well. Uh, let's take a look at um, this room here. So this is probably, uh, it could be one of the master bedrooms. It could be uh, the, the, the main guest bedroom. Like I said, I have tried to make all these rooms just a little bit different from each other. So we, of course, got the, the other kind of hyphae on the wall here. Another fireplace, a little bit different in, in design. And another little um, uh, finely uh, um, uh, polished uh, parquet floor and everything down here. Let's see, let's go back into our main hallway, and off to our left we have the first of uh, several bathrooms. Uh, this is where I decided to use all of the, the very interesting um, uh, glazed terracotta blocks we have in Minecraft, echoing them on the walls and the floors and everything. And I think in the actual chateau these, these were indeed bathrooms, so you know, that, that's one of the kind of small rooms. Uh, directly across from that. We come into what I assume would be probably the, 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 the master bedroom, if I had to guess. Probably what that is. So we have another fancy fireplace design here. Coffered ceiling, very bright uh, honeycomb wallpaper. I really like, I really like uh, honeycomb blocks for wallpaper. It makes, a, it makes for a nice cheery wallpaper, exactly what you want, would want to have. A very nice floor in here with the stripped uh, spruce and oak. Uh, and of course, uh, directly attached to that, we have a, a rather spacious balcony out here as well. Right there. And this is, uh, I think, directly above the uh, salon. Right here. So, it's, uh, like I said, whoever designed this house really, really liked to have uh, a whole bunch of balconies. I just wanted to go outside at every opportunity. Uh, and immediately attached to this room, I have, uh, I have divided the room off over here, and we have a very nice uh, closet for the lady of the house to store all of her clothes in. And this sort of echoes the honeycomb pattern with, with, with the yellow, with the, the, the random patterning of the glazed terracotta in here. Very nice, cheery room. Now if we go back into our main hallway, though, our arch stairs, we have uh, another bathroom we can visit down here. I really like, th this is probably my favorite tile pattern with the, uh, I think it's the, 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 the light blue and maybe the cyan terracotta. I, I, I forget exactly which blocks. But it makes a very nice bathroom tile pattern, anyway. Uh, and we do have a double entrance into the main, uh, the main master bedroom here, from that. Uh, and down from that here, I have divided this room down here into two, through these double doors, and this gives us what I assume would probably be, um, uh, either the uh, the bedroom for the grandmother or the bedroom for the kids. You could have uh, down here. So they got their own little fireplaces here, like so. We go back through the hallway and into the other room. We can see it's it's similar, but uh, just a little bit different in, in its floor and ceiling details from each other. They do have a shared closet area in here through these doors. And of course they both have two doors that go out into yet another balcony over here. And I believe uh, this one is above the dining room. All 
All right, so that's going to be the tour of the second floor. And like I said, you know, we have a lot to see, a lot of little rooms. So let's ascend our staircase again. Where on, uh, I mean, let's say, you know, you only went up half the staircase, but you're really tired and you want to take a break. So you go out onto yet another balcony here. Rest for a minute. Enjoy the gardens. Uh, and, and then you're strong enough to ascend the remaining couple of steps to the top here. And, and that's actually going to be the top of the uh, staircase. Uh, not the top, it's not the top of the chateau, though. It's just the top of the main staircase, which brings us out into another hallway here. Uh, firstly, let's, uh, let's go down here. Uh, on our left, we, of course, got another bathroom. Nice little bright red patterning for the, the uh, this bathroom. Uh, and we got two double doors down here for what I presume would be the guest bedrooms or perhaps the, the bedrooms for the servants up here. And uh, these are actually uh, right underneath the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the mansard roof with the dormer windows we have right here. They've got their own little dedicated fireplaces, but that's why in design, as the rooms get more simplified in their uh, materials, as we get higher up in the chateau, except for the main office room, which I'll see in a bit. And these rooms are pretty much all copies of each other. I've got, you know, just another one over here, exactly the same, just mirrored. I've just, I've divided the room in two, so we can get two little small bedrooms out of it. Uh, if we go down to the other end of the hallway here, we can see we've got the same the same sort of deal. So we've got little four, four bedrooms up here and of course two bathrooms so they have to share. Very bright, colorful, uh, floral type uh, bathroom in here. Uh, and then over here we do have uh, another room up here got its own little fireplace and of course this is where I've chosen to use the watermelon wallpaper on the wall here. I've been dying to use watermelons for wallpaper for ages and uh, the, the, the French Chateau seemed exactly where we, we would want to have something like that so uh, that that is indeed where it is. And as you would expect of course we've got another yet another little balcony out here where we can just you know walk outside Enjoy the gardens and all of that right there. We do have underneath this little staircase a little, just a little hidden closet down here, someplace, uh, someplace for Harry Potter to live. Underneath the stairs, uh, over here we do have a small attached uh, room here, perhaps a little sewing room or something like that up here. This uh, this attaches to the main corridor that we came through. I'm trying to go. A little bit slow because up here some of the rooms you can get you can get a little bit lost. Uh, I think I did. Um, uh, the the ceiling in here is a little bit off. We'll have to fix that uh, later. It's because I redesigned this room layout a couple of times, and that is because that uh, I couldn't figure out uh, how the stairs connected to the level above this. Uh, you can see here I have elected to put the stairs here inside this room. But I think in the original Chateau, they had some sort of weird switchback type stair system right here. But this corridor is really not big enough for a set of stairs. I don't think so. At least it's not in Minecraft anyway. So I decided to, on the other side of this room here, to uh, steal some space from that and make these rooms just a little bit smaller and put the staircase here. So we don't have to have it awkwardly right in the middle of our corridor. Our hallway, we can keep this open, but we can just steal this bit of space over here for that one. And this takes us right up to the next level. Right down here. Uh, so we have a little uh, little uh, small room here. Not sure what you want to use it for. It does have some uh, even smaller little attached rooms here. Uh, these would probably be the servants' rooms, I would guess. Since they're, they're, they're really high up in the chateau and they're really small. There's no bathrooms up on this level. And a, little, a little room like that here. I really like the, these, these stripped uh, oak paneled uh, uh, wallpaper, oak and spruce. Here, and that's our stairs down. And oh, before we forget, it's got yet another balcony up here as well. E even the servants 
in this chateau get their get their own little balcony right on top of the mansard roof uh but the main reason i think for the stairs to go up to this level here is because uh, just if we turn left and just go straight this takes us into what is going to be the main office of the chateau which you know as you can tell this is a very 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 expensive room at least in its wall coverings But it's just a, um, I think this is where, actually, in, in the real Chateau, whoever designed it, they wanted their office up here. So I guess they could, uh, they could climb up all the way to just about the top of the Chateau and just get away from everything. And of course, you know, like I said, whoever designed this building really loved their balconies. Really, really loved their balconies. So, since they would be spending quite a lot of time in here, and I guess, you know, that they would, they would be working a lot in here and just, you know, get tired of doing their work. So what they really want to do is take a break, and of course, you know, what would you want to do in this chateau? Yes, that's right, you want to walk out onto a balcony. So, through our, our, our big window here, we of course walk out onto our little balcony here out front. It's like so. Nice little arched, uh, arched thing right here, just right underneath the, the, the tower and everything. Nope. Uh, and of course, uh, like uh, like you would expect, there are more balconies on the sides of the the main office area. We've got these very generous balconies up here. I imagine you want to have some potted plants and everything up here as well. Perhaps some flowers and everything. I haven't added those, but you know you you can in the design. And uh, there is a it's symmetrical, so there is yet another balcony up here as well. So, attached to the main office, we have three. Yes, count them. Three. We have three balconies that we can take our choice, depending. And we can look out uh, in various directions, just as far as the render distance will allow. Up here for that. Like I said, it's, it's, a, it's, an, it's an interesting, quirky old building. Uh, so, if we want to go back through here, astute observers may notice we went past a couple of doors. And that is because of these are uh, some service rooms up here, actually. In the original chateau, that um, around here they would have had re really big, heavy hot water t uh, water tanks that would have been for the, uh, uh, the the just to have some water pressure in the chateau. They would have pumped the water all the way up here, and then it would just you know gone down by gravity to the bathrooms below us. And there would have been two of those tanks. This is one of these little windows looking out on that balcony. And through here, I have added another uh, attic level access here. Uh, um, now, uh, we do have our two guest bedrooms below there. So, in the actual chateau, I think the roof is done a little bit differently. I don't know if there's going to be a crawl space uh, attic access like I've built in here. Probably not, depending uh, on what they, what they want to use the rooms for. Uh, but in Minecraft, we did have a little bit of extra space up here that was just big enough. For an attic space, so I, I roofed the uh, the seal, or rather, I added a ceiling slash floor to this area here for the rooms below, so we could have this little area up here. These posts probably aren't necessary. For here, I suppose you, you know you can you can remove these three central posts here. I think if you want to have a bigger call space area, but I want to just subdivide off the chateau as much as possible to get as much get as many just little rooms as we can. And directly across from that room, we have another little, even smaller room. Right here, just a little service room, or just a little closet area where you can cram some stuff in. And we do have the other uh, attic area here, underneath the other mansard uh, roof. Right here. These mansard roofs are fun to build, actually. Well, I mean, I, I did have to build them at least twice. Uh, because I got it wrong the first time, but... Because I've never built a mansard roof before in Minecraft. They're, they were quite fun to do. They're, they're not as hard as you would expect, actually. So I think that is... Oh, wait, wait. I almost forgot something. So if we come up right main staircase, heading to our office, if we noticed, if we stop right here, and we were uh, slightly observant, we notice off to our left, there's another door. And you remember the chateau has a tower, right? Well, I thought... Uh, I, I don't know... How this is going to work in the actual chateau, 
Uh, but I assume somewhere somewhere around here, there's got to be a staircase because there are windows on the top of that tower. And, and I assume there must be a room up there. So we've got to get up there somehow. So I've still I've stolen a little space, uh, just a little bit of space from the office. And in here, in this little crevice, I have added just a little narrow staircase. So we can see on our left here, we've got the stone walls of the tower. We've got uh, the other wall for the office. And about midway up, we had another, we had just enough room for yet another uh, little room here. Just a little hidden room above the office right here. If you want to get away from it all, you can come up here and lock yourself in. Uh, but if we want to ascend our little staircase, we have to stop here and continue upwards. And this at last brings us to the very topmost room of the chateau, as far as I can tell. This, of course, has our main windows. And the mansard tower. And this is as high up as we can get in the chateau. Uh, there, there are, um, I mean, there, there is a bit more roof structure above us here. Uh, I suppose you probably could find a way some here so, some way here to put in a ladder to get all the way up to the very tip top of the chateau uh, but i don't know if there's going to be a way up there for that or not so i just kind of you know w w we have stopped here and this is the uh the, the seventh counting the ground floor as the first floor uh, this would be the seventh room in the chateau by height as far as my reconstruction of it goes so here we want to go down the stairs, past that room here. Right here, we've got our, our office there. Back down our stairway, I've added back down here. Back into the main hallway here. Turning left, we go down our main staircase. Right down here, through our archway, keep going down our staircase here. Back down into the main entrance hall. And back out the front door. And get a little distance. And uh, that is going to be the full tour of the chateau. Here, here's that room we were in just a moment ago. You can see how I've tried to optimize the staircases and everything. So it didn't take very long for us to get um, uh, from the main entrance hallway all the way up to the topmost room in here like i said you know there's a there's an, a bit more area in here to get all the way up to uh a whatever whatever this is called up here like so with its uh, uh decorated and, or and ornamented iron orc you would expect to have in the french chateaus we have we do have quite a lot of that by the way back here According to all of this here. All of the intricate woodwork detailing that we've got, all of our various chimneys with the flower pots and everything that we've got back here. All of the various interlocking mansard roofs with their associated dormers and fine detailing. Like so. And all of the various balconies we took a look at and all the various rooms and everything. Uh, now, when we look at this building from a distance, you wouldn't think that there were all that many rooms inside the chateau. You probably certainly wouldn't think that it would take, you know, just, just about what, at, at least uh, well over half an hour to go through and describe all of them. But, you know, like I said, it, it, it's a quirky old building. It's got some, it's got some character to it. Uh, but like I said, since in terms of tours, I, I will usually start the tutorial after I do the tour. But I think since this one has gone on for quite long enough, we are actually going to start the phases and everything for the tutorial structure in the next video. The first one we're going to do a little bit differently. I think uh, we're going to do, um, we got a lot of measurement to do. And I think actually uh, MC Edit is going to be the best tool to use for that. So we're going to do a, kind of a different approach for that one, but we can see we've got the, the imprint of the formal gardens here and the imprint of the chateau building itself. 
And the first couple of phases are going to be really slow because we've got a lot of formal gardens to build. And then the chateau itself, which will take, you know, several, quite, quite a few parts. Uh, I think this might be uh, maybe a five-part series, depending. Uh, well, not, a, not counting the tour after. That might be a total of six parts. But anyway, you can see here, we've got, we've got you know, just, just quite, a, quite a lot to get through because it is a, a, a big and complicated building, you know, as you would expect any uh, good self-respecting French chateau to be, you know, very, very, very ornamented and everything uh, like that there. So that's going to wrap it up for part one. I hope you have enjoyed the tour of the French chateau. And if you want, it's available for download in the... Cal, for goodness sake, I'm trying to do... Oh. Uh, anyway, I, I, I re resist the urge to hit the cow. Um, so, like I said, anyway, the, the download is going to be available in the video description for both Java and Bedrock versions. And with that, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and, 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 and I and the cow will see you next time.